Hi, I'm Cheryl the Composer. Today we're going to look at two condenser microphones, two of the best that are out there uh, worldwide. We're going to look at the SLX wireless microphone, the uh, 87A, the Beta 87A. We're also going to look at the 900 series of an evolution of the Sennheisers. This is the E965. The difference is uh, already in each microphone, the the Shure microphone, condenser mic, it is a wireless microphone. The Sennheiser 965 is a wired microphone. It has dual pickup patterns, cord uh, cordioid and super cordioid pattern. Okay, the first thing I want you to take uh, notice of is that when I set them up and eq them on the Sennheiser EQ, I had middle ways highs and middle ways lows and, and middle ways mids. On the Shure microphone, I had to cut down the highs and cut down the lows because on this microphone, it has that extra oomph to it. It's super cordial, but it has that extra oomph where you have to cut down the highs because it would be too pitchy. But once you EQ'd it to where it needed to be, they were so similar. It was just, just I mean, it's, you just totally similar, both of them in character. Let's listen to both. I love you when you were lonely. I know you when you were only a boy all along without love. I know you when. That was the sure beta 87. Now let's listen to the, the Sennheiser 965. I know you when. You were lonely. I know you when you were only a boy all along without love. I knew you when. Both are very rich microphones. Both stand out beyond the average wired or wireless microphone, but they're EQ'd very differently. They both sound way better than most average or above average microphones. But they both stand out because they're both condenser microphones. Condenser microphones are used oftentimes for recording. Uh, and with that being said, because the sound is so crystal clear, they use them uh, on stage and live performances often. Uh, and they're microphones that you don't have to just, you know, a lot of condenser microphones are very delicate and sensitive. This this microphone here by Shure isn't a metal housing, and you know it can be dropped. We don't want to drop it often, but it can be dropped, and it'll probably be all right for the most part. This microphone is in metal housing, which most Sennheiser microphones are the wired and the wireless, which I love about Sennheiser. So, you know they're sturdy and rugged all the time. You don't have to go around just being real concerned about them. You don't really don't want to drop any of them, but you just don't want to be. Just constantly concerned that if you if you drop one, that this is going to be broken and you can't use it anymore. Let's speak into each one of them and see what they sound like. Good morning. I'm Cheryl the composer. Good morning. I am Cheryl the composer. That's the Sure Beta 87A. And now we'll move on to the Sennheiser 965. Good morning. I'm Cheryl the composer. Good morning. I'm Cheryl the composer. There's something else that I've noticed about this, and this one is 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 set up in a way where you'll have less plosives even without putting on the covering, without the covering. Most Sennheiser microphones are 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 made in such a way that in the housing where you don't have to use coverings for them either. A lot of mics you do. Uh, you can if you feel more comfortable, uh, but. You know, neither one of these microphones will need uh, the coverings to put the, the little covering on top of them because of the way they're built on the inside. 
and they are very great sounding microphones. And let's sing a different kind of song all together. Kyrie song 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 that was the Sennheiser E965 now let's try the beta 87a Kyrie Both are absolutely wonderful mics. Sometimes it's your preference whether you like wired or wireless. You want either one of them to sound excellent. Both of these mics are excellent mics. Wired, wireless. Also, I want to show this to you that I didn't show in my last video. This uh, Beta 87A has not only is not only prepared to uh, be uh, fitted in enclosures of rack and mounts, enclosures, but if you don't even want to rack mount it, it has these protectors on it, so that when it sits, it don't sit totally to the ground, and the protectors keep it for all the edges protected. Now, something I mentioned to you before, but I'm going to show it to you now. On your antennas, they turn and they snap in. And you, uh, it's best to, to uh, lean them each to the right, to the left, far left, and to the far right. This is the part, too, that I want you to see. When you put your cord in this little hoop, and then you plug it in, it's far less likely to come out so during a performance if something is moved or snatched or whatever your cord will remain sturdy inside its casing okay I hope that you enjoyed this video this is the box that it comes in the uh, SLX And I just removed the things that I wanted and needed to use and put them in a different case because it didn't come with a case. Let me move this over a little bit for you to see. This is the casing enclosure. And it's still in there. It has all of the, the rack mount equipment in there. So if you want to put it rack mount it, the equipment comes with it. And I may use this case, you know, it won't hold up that long, but I might use it at times. This is the case for the Sennheiser. It's a simple case. I'm not understanding why either one of them didn't come with um, a real case. I made me a case for the for the uh, SLX to carry with, you know, the things that I need in it. And this is getting this open. The uh, Sennheiser comes with a Sennheiser pop pouch and just a simple case. You can carry it around in this if you want to, but you know this is simply you know up to you. Well, I'm Cheryl, the composer. I thank you for taking this time with me, watching this video. Hopefully, there are many more to come. Thank you very much, and you have a great, great day.